Hey you guys, it's New Life for Jen, or Jen. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2011. I'm coming on today to do a quick update um, on my incision line and um, what's been going on the last week or so. Um, again, I am swollen below my incision line. That's where the base of my swelling is coming from. But you will see um, I am swollen, of course, up top. Um, above the incision line on my stomach area in the back but nothing like it is below the top of it I knew was going to be swollen I planned on that but the bottom half where my thighs feet calves butt legs everything below is totally swollen um, I did lose about three or four pounds of um, swelling from yesterday to today and it seems like it's kept it down um, it's now probably five in the afternoon so I have been up, you know, doing stuff today, so let's give you a quick look. Okay, first I'll go with the fronts. There's my belly button. Um, I've had the compression garment on, so everything looks kind of weird. Um, and this is the incision line. I know this camera is not the best one. I really need to have my husband do this. Um, but the incision line is, like, flawless. I mean, I have had no gaps, blood, um, openings, absolutely nada. And it's hard to get the back. But no openings of any kind. Um, and I'm really happy with my belly button. Um, but you can see swollen right here. That would be right above my little, you know, heart-shaped incision line and then all down through here and then of course here but you know that part I knew I would swell but it's just this oh my gosh they're so bad I won't even show you because it's so embarrassing but that's where the pain comes from is my lower the lower swelling it's just been awful so what have I been doing for it I have been drinking sorry if this looks funny because now I have to do the camera this way I have been drinking tons of lemon water, um, it's supposed to help with swelling, eating pineapple, um, and trying to stay off my feet. And that's about the only thing you can do at this point. Um, I did not really research enough before surgery to know that this kind of swelling could be an issue. Um, it is almost in, it almost limit you to do a lot of things. Um, it is so extreme at points that it hurts to touch your skin. It gets so swollen. So um, I didn't, you know, I hadn't seen anybody before that I watched personally go through this thing called Swell Hell. And if you YouTube it or if you Google it, you know, a lot of it right now that you'll find is on tummy tucks because of the fact um, it seems like the lower body lifts are just now being documented. Um, it's hard to find a lot of information on lower body lifts. Um, but in realself.com, there is a lot of talk on swell hell, which is pretty much swelling. And it sometimes won't happen for people until they're in their three or four month phase. Sometimes it's the whole time. Sometimes um, they get it and it's only for a month, or they get it and it's fifth and sixth month, but it can go up to a year. Um, but usually, I guess, the most of it happens in the first six months, and then you'll just maybe be a little bit mildly, you know, more or less bloated feeling in the evenings, um, for up to a year. So, I knew there would be swelling in the midsection where the, the incision was, but I was not planning on the rest of my body blowing up like a balloon. Um, luckily my husband was off for two weeks, he went back to work today. So today was my first day driving. Today was my, you know, first for a lot of things because my husband's been here to help and he's he's been a great help. Um, I could not have done, especially the first two weeks without him. So luckily he was home for, you know, 18 days pretty much between Mexico and at home here. So he took care of the kids in the house. So, and he works second shift, so now it's me and the kids in the house alone in the evening. So, we will get through, and everybody's been a great help here at home. So, because you're going to need help. Um, 
I, I don't know if it was just me or what, but it, it, I am a strong person and I can handle pain and I can handle discomfort, but this put me on my back. So, yeah, but I'll do a more better video when the camera's turned the right way on just a little more on all the things that people should consider before doing this surgery. Um, some of the things that I did not figure into my plan, um, and I'm a very um, OCD kind of person, so if I didn't figure it into my plan, I wouldn't want it to happen to somebody else. So um, I just kind of want to go in more in depth on that. So when I'm more dressed and ready, I look like hell today, but I just wanted to show you the, in show you the incision. Um, almost three weeks out, 19 days. Um, and I put the pictures on Facebook as well. But hope you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.